What's up you guys, Perry from Rockville here and today I'm going to teach you how to set up your RPG-8 BT V2 8 inch powered PA speakers. These speakers are perfect for any live performances, band rehearsals, houses of worship, conferences, karaoke, and much more. So as you can see, you'll get the speaker itself, a power cable, and a wireless remote control. Now the cool thing about these speakers is that they can be mounted into different positions depending on what you use the speakers for. The curved sides make them perfect to use as monitor wedges to place on the floor or stage. The built-on rubber legs at the bottom of the speaker allow you to stand it onto any table or surface. And there's also a 35 millimeter pull socket at the bottom that we can use to mount it onto a stand. So let me show you how to do that right now. So here I've got my standard speaker stand that I'm going to use to mount the speaker. So first we're going to want to loosen this locking knob here so we can slide the speaker onto the stand. Then we're going to want to tighten up that locking knob to lock the speaker into place. So once we have the speaker set up the way we want, we're going to want to grab the included power cable, take the female end and plug it into the back of the speaker, then take the other end and plug that into a power outlet. Now the speaker allows us to set the voltage to 110 or 220 if you live in a country that uses 220 volts. However, since we live in the US, we'll leave it at 110. So now we can go ahead and flip the power switch to turn on the speaker. Now the speaker comes with a quarter inch input that we can use to connect a microphone. To do that, you'll need your microphone and a female XLR to quarter inch cable. You'll just want to be sure to have the mic level all the way down to avoid any unwanted noise or feedback. Take the female XLR end of the cable and plug that into your microphone. Then you'll take the other end and plug that into the mic in quarter inch mic input on the speaker. So now we can turn up the mic level knob. So now if I turn on my microphone, you should be able to hear my voice coming out of the speaker. Now the speaker even comes with a two band EQ on the side here that we can use to dial in the sound of my voice. So I can use this treble knob here to affect the high frequencies of my voice. So say if I turn it up, you hear that my voice comes a little more present. And if I lower the treble knob, you'll hear less of that high end in my voice. Same thing with the bass knob here. If I turn it up, then that adds more bass to my voice. And if I lower the bass knob, you'll hear my voice come out with less of that low end. Now remember when you're using the two band EQ, you won't just affect the sound of your voice, but also anything else coming out of the speaker like your music. Now we can even connect anything with a line level output like a keyboard or even another speaker by using the line in XLR input here. And we can also use these line in RCA inputs here for anything like a record player or an RCA to aux cable. And we can adjust the level of those signals by using the line level knob here. There's also a quarter inch line output that we can use to send the signal from the first speaker out to another one. For that setup, we would just want to use a quarter inch to XLR cable and plug the XLR end into the XLR line input on your next speaker. And we can adjust any line signals coming in or out by using the line level knob here. Now a really cool feature on these speakers is the TWS or true wireless stereo mode that we can use to connect to another RPG BT speaker. So let me grab another one right now and show you how that works. All right, so now that I've got my other speaker set up, we can start the TWS connection by putting both speakers into Bluetooth mode. To do that, we're just gonna wanna press the mode button until we get to the Bluetooth option. So now on our first speaker, we're gonna wanna press and hold the TWS button for about three seconds. And you'll know the two speakers are connected when you hear those beep sounds and when the TWS indicator on the display of both speakers read link. Now we can also use the line out quarter inch output on the back of the speaker to connect to other speakers as well. Now since we're already in Bluetooth mode, we can pair our smartphone or tablet if we go to the Bluetooth settings on our phone and look for the device that reads Rockville. And that high beep sound will let you know that your smartphone is connected to your speaker. We'll just want to be sure to raise the MP3 level knob here on the speakers so that we can hear the music coming through. So let's hear how the speakers sound. Oh wow. Yeah, nice well-rounded sound. You're getting the stereo image from the old speakers since they're linked together. mode, we can also use a USB or SD card to play music from those sources. Again, you'll want to be sure to raise the MP3 volume knob so you can hear the music coming through the speakers. 
Now we can even set these speakers up to a passive mixer for a bigger setup. So let me show you how to do that next. All right, now for this setup, it's very important that we use a passive mixer because these are powered speakers. Because if we use a powered mixer with powered speakers, then we risk ruining our equipment. Now before we set anything up, we want to make sure that the line level knobs on both speakers are turned all the way down to avoid any unwanted noise. Now to set the mixer up with the speakers, I'm going to need two XLR cables. I'm just going to take the female ends of both cables and plug them into the XLR main outputs on our mixer. Then I'm going to take the male ends of both cables and plug them into the XLR line inputs on our speakers. So now we can go ahead and turn on our mixer. Then we can go ahead and raise those line level knobs on our speakers. Now to test out the setup, I'm going to set up a microphone. So I'm just gonna plug the microphone into channel one on my mixer. Then I'm gonna raise the gain and volume knobs on that channel. Then to hear the microphone through the speakers, I'm gonna raise the main left and right outputs on our mixer. So now if I turn on my microphone, you should hear my voice coming out of both speakers. Now this is a perfect setup for live performances and band rehearsals since we can plug in our microphones and instruments through the mixer while using both speakers. Now an important thing to note is this limit LED light on the back of the speakers. Basically these will light up once the speaker reaches the peak volume and comes out super loud or distorted. So if you see these light up when using your speaker, you'll just want to adjust the levels to control the peaking. And we can control many of these features by using Using the included wireless remote. So I hope this showed you guys how easy it is to set up your RPG 8BT V2 8 inch powered PA speakers. But of course, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to reach out to our customer support team through phone or email. As always, guys, I'm Perry from Rockville, and I'll see you next time.